Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to most likely the final episode of how to make a FNAF game in Scratch before we start our next tutorial series. So, uh, right, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. So today, we're covering the big baddie, we're covering custom night, that's what we're working on today, that's what we're gonna get done. Now you might think, oh god, it's gonna be so hard. It's not gonna be hard. If I'm being honest, I don't know why I said this one was gonna be hard. It, it, it's not. AI by itself was a lot hard. Making the office with its... Making the buttons stay where they're supposed to be is honestly gonna be harder than this. Because you already have the code, you just gotta add some more to it. So, basically, what we're gonna do is... I'm going to base... You can again... So... You have to base it off when you want to get your, um, when do you want to unlock it? So for, for this example, I'm going to do it after you unlock the one star, which we already have figured out, right? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the exact same code we used to, d to establish whether or not this shows up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a play button. I'm just going to duplicate it. We're going to call this. Custom night button. Yeah, you, again, you can just kind of call whatever you want. I'm just doing that for ease of use. So, basically, what needs to be done here is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I know what the problem is there. Um. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna. Oh boy, I forgot that uh, static was a thing. We're gonna figure out where we want it. I'm gonna say here. Just for now, I'm gonna come in here. We're gonna do custom. I was gonna write custom night, but that'd just be way too big of a button, and I'm just not having it today. I'm not into big buttons today. I'm into little buttons. You know what I mean? Okay. So here's a custom button. And since we have our things get bigger, we go have them go to 100 and, uh, 110. Well, actually, no. So we have it at 80. Right? And then we have it go up to 90. So if you set size to 90, we'll see what it will be at when it's fully zoomed in. So let's say I want it like that. So it's not off the edge. Then you can set this back to 80 and attach these back on. Just like this. Yeah. Right there. So. And now instead of this night screen here. What we're going to do. Is we're going to broadcast. Custom night screen. Just like that. And uh, now if we. Take a look. Well basically what we have to do first. Is grab your star. Right. We're going to take this star. Code. We're going to put it. I was going to say we're going to put it in the custom night, but apparently it doesn't want me to. There. Okay. Put it in there. Make sure you reattach it. Right here. And instead of that. And then just like this. You're going to take out that top part of code. And put the entirety of the normal thing in there. And then otherwise it's going to be hide. So. Boop. And then if you load it up, you say no, you don't have an account. It doesn't show up. But if you were to have an account, it would show up along with the star so now I need to set up what happens when you go to the custom night screen and what I'm going to do is take this color of the thing we're gonna make a new backdrop I'm just gonna go ahead and paint one of these squares I'm also gonna take this color just so you know so everything looks the same I'm gonna call this custom night and again you can make this look far more nice but I'm just going to set it up like this. And now here's the fun part that everybody likes doing. Setting up the art for each, you know, character. I only have three. So, I only have three. You know how it goes. You know, you get it. You get it. So, I'm going to make these boxes like 10 wide. And not fill them. So, I can just have like, whoop. Hey, look at that. It's a square. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. You should. Please, please do. 
please actually take time so that the game actually doesn't look awful. This is a tutorial, so I'm allowed to have it look terrible. See, that's the trick. I'm allowed to make it look like garbage because I'm just teaching you how to do it. That's how it works around here. Uh, I think this one might be it. It doesn't matter. So you got your little boxes. I'm going to add in some text that tell you who's who. So you got, now I was about to put mushy. That's not their names. You got ugly. Mushy is the name of my character and, you know, my Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. Stupid one that I just made for fun. Got a rope man. Perfect. And you have bean chick. Perfect. You know, do this. And since I'm not, like, going to actually redraw them because it's just a tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of take, take their face. Oh, boy. So I'm just going to kind of take his, take his face. All right, fine. I guess I'll take his whole body then. And I'll just kind of smack him in here. He doesn't have any color. Um, well, this is, this is awkward. Okay. Well, we're going to do instead. Well, I'll be right back once I get their faces in there. All right. I've created a masterpiece. Look at them. Aren't they all beautiful? No, the point is they're ugly. Anyways. So once you got them all set up like this, or if you want to make new art, I'd recommend doing new art. Don't do what I did. Please, actually make your game look good. Please spend time in your game. That's like the biggest pointer I can give you. By the way, I'm going to name this Custom Night Screen. Please, spend time in your games for the, for the love of everything. Please. Okay. Here we go. Here's a Custom Night Screen. I come to our custom night button and let's oh we already did that. Okay, well okay. And we're gonna come to backdrops then. We're gonna go ahead and do this. And find custom night screen. And have it go to custom night. When it goes to that, it broadcasts custom night. I'm gonna just do that time being. Oh hey, look at that ugly standing right there in front of my face. So with the play button, we're obviously going to want to make it so that when the custom night screen is broadcast that it hides. So let me just take off the stipulation for a bit, just so we can test custom night. So here, uh, no. Okay, that's an issue. It spawned right on top of it. Why is this fade here? Why is this fade here? Okay, well, hold up. They're making this more complicated than it needs to be. I'm just a bro, broing out. Um, just put custom night. We're going to want it at, where is it? Negative one, three, three. And negative one, thirty again. Checking that by looking at these two coordinates. Oh, I'll zoom in so you can see. How about that? How does that sound? How about I zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing? See, it load. No. Custom night. Cover over it. Boom. All right. We have to make ugly hide too. Makes sense. Makes sense. Custom night screen hide. Boom. No. That. Custom night. Boom. Custom night. Now, you could get super creative with how you decide which number they're going to be on. I'm not because tutorial man stuff. I'm going to make a button that's just going to be called. So, hold on. Let me just design this little art. It's just going to be a little tiny little button. Bam, look at him. He's so beautiful. He is such a proud little button. You know that? He's very proud. Not of you or of me. Of himself. He's proud of himself. He's going to say change on it. There, look at that. Look at that beautiful little button. Put him under there. Change button. Cool. Then what this is going to do is when I receive, we need to find a green flag thing that we made. Yeah, green flag. Okay, well, that's fade. Green flag. It'll hide. And when you receive custom night screen, I'm going to go to there and show. 
I'm gonna actually name it ugly change button because it's specific to ugly when this sprite is clicked or actually no we won't be able to do that we can do forever if grab yourself an and because again there's a static overlay so we need to do this touching mouse pointer and mouse down it'll ask what uh, no we'll do difficulty one through normal people will do 20 because that's what it normally is i'm gonna do three for for uh ease of use you can make that literally however big you want again the higher the number you make it the longer this is going to take for you you can make it three you can make it five you can make it 20 you can make it 60 you can make it 80 you can make it 2000 have fun making 2000 that's gonna be real boring on your end but I'm just gonna do three again you can do all the other stuff so what we will do then is we will check uh, we'll do an if else and then put an or in there put a greater than here and we'll put a sensing and grab answer if answer is greater than three right or whatever your highest number has to be for example if you're doing uh, one to twenty like no like a lot of the normal games do you put a 20 here because if the we're checking to see if you, you can even set him to that difficulty so if he's above the highest or he's below the lowest so well actually yeah you can set it to zero too i assume so there i'll do that if he's below zero then nothing will happen otherwise you'll set Right, I actually need to set up an ugly difficulty. Make yourself an ugly difficulty variable, or whatever the name of your character is. Oh my goodness, I just like scrolled way far down. Ugly location, not ugly location, ugly difficulty to answer. So, you click on this. Okay, well, it's not running right now, but you, you get what it do. So let's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Ugly's difficulty. And I'm gonna put it right there, just like that. So what else I want to do then is we'd make a on the green flag. We'd make sure to hide the ugly difficulty. And then custom night screen, we'd show the ugly difficulty. Just like that. So now when we started the game, hit no. Cost night, there we go. Difficulty, oh boy. Oh wait, I forgot. So I just clicked the play button because the play button is still there. So, cost night screen. I'll have it do that thing too, just so it goes away. Just so it gets really far away from where we'd ever click. So, no, I don't have an account. Cost night, boom. You hit change, change it to three. If you hit six, nothing happens. If you hit negative one, nothing happens. If you hit one, or if you hit two, changes it to three to three, one to one, zero to zero. S simple, very basic. Now, I'm not going to do this for the other characters because it is the exact same thing as I'm gonna do for this one. So, putting that out there is a warning right now, okay? What I'm doing to uh, Ugly right here, the code that I'm gonna put for Ugly is identical to what you do for your other characters, right? You just have to do it more than once. I'm only going to do it with this character because I only need to do it with one for the tutorial purpose. You get it, right? I hope you understand that. So, what do we do? You come down to your ugly AI or whatever your AI was. Remember all this stuff? Remember how fun this was? Remember how much you loved this? Well, I'm going to bury it into... The, I'm going to run it into the ground now. So, night seven is what we will call this. Okay. We will call this a theoretical night seven. So we're gonna add this, and then for seven, we're gonna set ugly's location to one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an if. If, and this is gonna check if ugly's difficulty is zero, meaning if you're not playing him today, or if he's not gonna come out. If it's thing equals zero, nothing. If it's anything else but zero, then it'll broadcast to setup and he'll start doing his thing. 
in his setup, you're going to want to set the night seven. Now, here's where the real fun starts. I'm kidding. This part's actually kind of tedious. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the ugly difficulty, just like this. We're going to set it to... So, since it'll never actually be on this, if it's zero, you don't have to worry about that. So, if his difficulty is one, meaning the easiest mode possible, what we'll do is maybe we'll do it 20 to 30 seconds because it's a very easy night, right? If his difficulty is two... Maybe he's 10 to 20 seconds. It's getting a little bit more difficult. If his difficulty is 3, maybe he's 3 to 8 seconds. Very hard. Very hard. And again, you do that for however many difficulties you have. I only have 3, so I only set up 3. Again, you can make that as many as you want. You just have to keep duplicating this and changing up the numbers and make them progressively more difficult, right? Awesome. This never changes. Don't worry about this one. This is the next one you got to worry about. So, if knight seven, this is when he's at the door, right? At the door. I'm going to take this again, just this thing, put it in there. So, if the difficulty is one, we'll maybe do you have five to 12 seconds to figure it out. If difficulty is 2, maybe you have 5 to 8, right? And if difficulty is 3, maybe you have 3 to 5. Look at that. Now you've literally set up your custom night. There you go. Crazy. One more thing we have to do is I'm going to take this change button. Custom. Oh, my goodness. Custom night start button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to write start. Perfect. All right, put that there. So all this stuff doesn't need to stay the same. Okay. So let's get to the customized screen. And this is where we're going to set up where we want. Forgot static was a thing. I'll put the start button up here. So they can choose when they want to start. Hey, my cat's downstairs. I don't know if you heard him, heard her make some noise there. But it's no screen. We'll have you. Oh, no, this is this is a different cat. Hold up. There's just there's a cat that's not mine. It just walked right into my house. Can you hear him? A cat that is not mine just walked into my house. <laughs> Hold up. I'm going to go figure this out real quick. All right. That was weird. Cat just walked into my house. Anyways, what was I doing? Right. Setting up the start button. When this sprite clicked, what you'll do is you'll set night to seven. And then we will do the fade. Wait, is there a special fade? I don't think so, no. Yeah, no. Well. Ah, oh, no, I'm an idiot right here. Do we have one for night seven? We do. And that starts. The only thing you're going to want to change now is since the way we figure out whether or not you get the stars based on your night number, what we're going to want to do is come to our office where we have our night finished. And what we will do is we'll grab an if else. If, and then we'll grab a less than, oh, I'll zoom in a bit, right here, grab night number, if night number is less than 5, we'll change it by 1, if night number is 5, we will do nothing, well, no, we'll just set this to 5 again, because you don't want the number to ever go over 5, and then if night equals 7, we will set night back to 5. The reason we're doing this, right, is so that it's always five, meaning your star will show up, okay? Just trust me on this. <laughs> Just like that. Now, if we take a look at what we have. No. Custom. Okay, the start button is right on top of it. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? That's cool. That's really cool. I love that. Start button. You go there. 
setting up your things 184 again checking just by looking over here why 154 okay just one more time green flag load no custom night okay there it is change what's this difficulty to three and hit okay well, i just realized when i click start um you're gonna have to hide the variable of this difficulty and this change when you receive fade wait 0 0.7 seconds so it can do so it can so fade can do its animation and then hide set size to one right here i want to do that put a set size to 100 right there it says to one then i'll have you go to like one 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 no that's way too small I'll have you go to like four 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 just so you're out of the way okay load no custom change is already set to three and hit start Night oh my goodness start button doesn't hide and you should probably be doing that set your size to one make sure it sets its own self to 100 when it starts go to one 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 all right one more time boys this is the last time no custom he's at three start night seven Okay, we'll watch him. Here he is. He's beautiful. Isn't he? Oh my goodness, he's already right there. Whoa, he booked it, boys. Boys, he booked it. Oh, he booked it, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there you go. I forgot... I forgot we just had him, like, bust through cameras at the speed of light. I forgot we had him do that. So, that's the end of this tutorial series. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Uh, while, you, while you're at it, if you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because new tutorial series coming soon. While you're at it, I want to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. to help me out a lot. We're growing really, really fast, and that's super nice to see Join Discord, link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the series, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.